Seven Action Sports reporter Brad Galley caught up with a couple of legends who saw Gordy as a friend and a hockey idol. Brad. Yeah, people have been pouring in. They continue to do so, Glenda. And the most important and impressive thing, the Howe family is standing in front of their father's casket, greeting every single member of this hockey family that walks through Joe Louis Arena to thank them for their support over the years. It's been a remarkable scene here behind us at Joe Louis Arena. You can see the line is still very long. And the first people to be here nine minutes before nine, if you can sense a theme there, some of the greatest hockey legends this sport has ever seen. Wayne Gretzky stood in the Red Wing Zamboni Tunnel on Tuesday wearing a dark suit and a number nine lapel pin. The great one spent the next 15 minutes telling reporters why his hero was the greatest to ever play the game of hockey and why befriending him was the greatest gift of his career. He was the greatest hockey player I ever lived and happened to be the nicest man that I've ever met. Still to this day that my favorite Christmas ever was getting a Red Wing number nine jersey when I was five years old. It's still the best Christmas present I ever got. Gretzky leading a long line of hockey legends surrounding the Howe family. Check out this photo. Next to the Howe brothers and Gordy's best friend Felix Gatt, Al Kaline, Scotty Bowman, Ken Holland, Steve Eiserman, Chris Draper, Gretzky, and Jeff Blaschel. What does it mean to you to have the family ask you to be such a big part of, of this week? Well, I'm you know, uh, very honored to be here. Uh, again, i uh, known Gordy since I was 18 years old. Being a player in Detroit and see the former Red Wing players, and these are Hall of Fame guys, some of the best players to ever play in the league. If you didn't know them, you couldn't tell if they were the Zamboni driver or a hot dog salesman or whatever, by the way they conducted themselves. And they kind of set the tone for what it's like to play here. Not very many people and not very many towns can say they had the greatest uh, in their city, and Gordie Howe was the greatest. You've talked about trying to be like him, I mean, mm -hmm. from your number and everything, uh, mm -hmm. and you've also talked maybe about the wing wheel. I mean, how close did you come to wanting to completely be like him and play for this organization? And oh, yeah. Listen, I made no secret of it that my childhood dream was to play for the Red Wings. Everything I did was to be a Red Wing and to be uh, around Gordie Howe and be part of Gordie Howe's world. So we keep talking about Gordie Howe's impact in this city, in this community. I think right there, you listen to Wayne Gretzky saying his entire life was spent trying to live up to be Gordie Howe, and he eventually wanted to try to play here. It didn't work out. What could have been there? But today, I think Steve Eiserman's saying it best. So many people are related to this team. So many people put even Steve Eiserman as the guy with this team. He said, you go anywhere in the world, there's one name that's associated with the Detroit Red Wings, and that is Gordie Howe. Glenda?